back to the Social Psycho Podcast, where we take a look at things affecting the Black community from a sociological and psychological point of view. My name is Booney, and I'm here with Royal today. How are you doing today, Royal? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's good to be back on the Social Psycho Podcast. Well, that's It's good for me to be back, too, because we missed a week, because I was sick. Yeah, right. so... I was I was on my back literally, so I couldn't do nothing. But we had a few videos in the boat, but I had to edit them, and I wasn't feeling well enough to do that. So yeah, but I hopefully we back on schedule. I think that's what people don't take account for when it comes to uh to podcasts. It's not just shooting the episodes; it's editing, promoting. So right. that that machine behind us. If somebody right. willing to work work for free, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I already I record my videos so I can find some other people who want to be on. Because I feel like when you when you're when you are not at a certain place in your life, I feel like celebrities are able to start a podcast and get people to commit to being on it. But when you're not a celebrity or you're not popular, you have to be open to having different people. So it is it's it's it, it it run it does run like a business, but sometimes people don't be interested in that. They don't see it like that. They don't be interested exactly. in that part. So, yeah. But you know, we got to put work behind it. Exactly. But today we are going to be talking about the lost art of foreplay. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while too because, um, I had a conversation years ago with my friends about this. It inspired me to create a board game um even though I still have to you know tweak it a little bit and and, um create it again edit it tweak it a little bit and I think the next step that I'm gonna do after that is test it but the name of it is for play me that's the name of it for now but you know we'll see but I wanted to talk about foreplay because it's something that has been missing in the bedroom for a while honestly when I first started having sex that's the first problem that I realized um that that was in sex like people didn't do foreplay and it actually it it blows my mind and it actually blew my mind back then because I was always one of those people who was like I'm interested in sex but but past the actual doing the physical activity Mm. like it's interesting to me I like to know everything that I can know about it or whatever one of the topics that I love talking about because I see it different than other people but um it just kind of blew my mind that that was something that was back then I guess I could understand because I was younger and we were younger but to grow up and come this far and for it to still kind of be the same thing it kind of blows my mind because it's like why and like how do y'all have sex if y'all don't have foreplay i swear i wonder the same thing like Like, what are you doing what are y'all doing what's the process like what are y'all doing like y'all just like and and a lot i was about to say do y'all just kiss and a lot of y'all don't even do that I was just going to bring that up. One of my friends, uh, she told me that she was with this guy that friends with benefit situation for a couple of years. And she said, they don't kiss. I said, what do you do? Like, what are y'all, do- what kind of bodies do y'all got? <laughs> minds. Are y'all like minds detached from y'all bodies or something? It I, has to be. I just cannot. Like, that's barbaric. Like, y'all are barbarians. Exactly. It's <laughs> like, weird. Like y'all are out there just sticking the key in the ignition, and they that's ain't... what I'm thinking of. Like y'all just get to straight to the P and the G, huh? That's it, <laughs> right? Like what? what y'all ain't doing nothing. Oh yeah, you you have con- you see conversations where people talking about sex, and and you talk about kissing. Oh, I don't kiss, or I don't like to kiss. And I will say this: I don't really care for kissing because of the way that I see mouth. My- like mouths are dirty to me. But if you're my person, what? Like, I'm not about to be kissing random people. But if, like, you're somebody that I'm with, I'm dating, and a a friends with benefits situation for years is crazy. That's what (laughs) I was saying. I'm like, like, I I was in one, but not really, because I wasn't acting on any other, uh, anything. 
How but that's crazy. Going? That's my thing. It's confusing. How could y'all be years and like years? Of it was obvious that she liked him. Like I'm just like, so why? What are y'all doing? So and she like, like oh yeah, I've been with a friends of benefits for years and we don't kiss. I'm just like, like that's like weird. that's a brag, right? I was just like, that's <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm like, I'm confused. So when y'all do it, what do you do? Like, like what, there, there what? has to be a situation where you're you are face to face with somebody. And it's natural that it's like, going to happen, y'all right? Doing it? Are y'all face to face? Because y'all seem to not be doing nothing. Are y'all even having sex? <laughs> I don't, I'm confused. Like, are y'all even doing anything for real? Just be out here fucking. How? Like, <laughs> I can't wrap my head around that joint. <laughs> this is natural. If I'm like, I mean, I haven't kissed every sexual partner that I've had. But I've had some kind of foreplay, some kind of intimacy, some kind of something. How do you get stimulated if that's the case? I feel like there needs to be some type of intimacy. Um, but we're gonna we gonna get into that. We're gonna jump into the <laughs> topics with the first segment, the what's your theory segment with this question. How do you feel about foreplay and what do you consider foreplay? Foreplay is um, I consider foreplay to be anything that you do before the actual act of having sex, whether it, it could be kissing, caressing, uh, finding the person's other erogenous zones on their bodies, like cuddling could be part of it. Like it's everything. And what was the second part of the question? Um, How do you feel about it? I feel like it's a very, very, very important part to, to have in the <laughs> act because I just I can't think of a way to to have a, a good sexual experience without doing it. Cause it's just it, it's a disconnect for me. Cause like even if you're gonna watch a porno for me, it's just like they get straight to the do it. I'm I don't why. What what happened before it something has to happen before that. Of course, least, like turn people on to the point that they're ready to have sex at the Right. Watch. I'm like, what what happened? <laughs> That's crazy. I, I I agree. I think foreplay is important as well. I think it's actually the most important part of sex. Like that's the that's the part where you build that that uh you build that sexual tension. Like you you build the tension or whatever, and then when you you get to intercourse, the main course or whatever, it's it's better. Like. It, the the anticipation to me is the most important part the anticipation the whether you, y'all are teasing each other whether you know like you said the kissing the touching um on conversation because 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 mental stimulation is foreplay like exactly mental the- stimulation is foreplay like having a dope conversation with somebody and like connecting with them mentally to me is the best type of foreplay because I'm a sapiosexual. So like it's so many things that you could do. And the fact that it's being skipped is wild to me. Like, and it, this is even outside of oral, because I feel like a lot of people think that that's the only like oh, foreplay is like oral sex and kissing. It's so many things you can do, like you were saying, exploring a person's body, finding their erogenous zones um and you can know you can make games out of these things like just doing different things like but that also kind of shows me that there's a lot of people out there who aren't pleasers there are like uh a a rare there are uh people who are pleasers it's a small amount of those and it just kind of seemed like everybody else they just want the orgasm like i literally can just foreplay can be just it for me like i can literally do everything except and of course and be satisfied because i like i like the the sexual tension that's built and sometimes you know you can build sexual tension and not always act on it like have the actual sex and maybe 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 have it like maybe the next day or or a couple of days later having foreplay for that extended a period of time that build up you know how crazy that'll be. That is fire. For that amount of time. That sexual tension when it get built up like that, because you you are constantly talking with somebody, y'all are right. connecting. 
either it could be sexting as a form of foreplay. And I'm not right. just talking about sending pictures back and forth. I'm talking about talking about it. Creating it's, visuals. Right. Like I had a partner who who created, I think I told you, created such a visual in my head that my body started doing stuff that I didn't understand. Like she just was like, she created a picture in my head and she was just like, close your eyes. And then she started creating the scene. I'm here. You're doing this. I was just like, <laughs> yeah. that's, like one of, that's one of my favorite forms of foreplay. Like I like doing stuff like that too sexting because a lot of us don't really talk on the phone like that or even if it's not sexting like even if y'all are in person you can sit in with each other and do stuff like that i feel like people take the fun out of sex so much and i feel like foreplay is supposed to be fun and people see it as a chore it's kind of like uh, i don't want to have to do all of that to have sex with somebody or i don't want to have to like if i gotta do all that uh i don't want to have sex with this person or whatever but that part to me is fun like that's the best part to me like building that anticipation and obviously learning your partner learning their body seeing the stuff that they respond to or whatever when you do certain things things that they like because sometimes people don't know what they like because they don't do foreplay and i've been in situations where people would be like i'll be like Whenever I am dating somebody, I ask a lot of questions. And I, especially when we're talking about sex, I want to know what you like. And I've had guys tell me, I don't really like talking about it. Like, you will figure out what I like when we do it. And it's like, how? What? <laughs> what? How am I going to figure it out? Because when we get there, you ain't going to tell me. You ain't going to say, hey, this is what I like. That would be different. Like, when I get there, you ain't going to tell me. Like, you just expect me to just know just do certain things and then no then if i do something that you don't like then i then that's you know then i messed it up i messed up the the chemistry right so conversations too like telling somebody what you like what's important what you need to get to that point before intercourse um but moving on to the next segment, the hear me out segment. Oh, I forgot to answer the second question. What do I consider foreplay? I consider, like uh, Royal said, everything before intercourse foreplay. Like, it don't necessarily only have to be oral and just kissing, but like you said, cuddling, all of that stuff. And uh, mental stimulation, which I know a lot of y'all when it comes to sex, people don't like to hear other, you know, I I don't want to do all that talking. I don't want to hear, but I kind of feel like you and your partner like chilling and y'all kind of like trying to get each other in the mood and you sitting there and you telling them what you want to do to them. Like you sitting there, you telling them, you painting a picture for them or they, if you too shy, they close their eyes or wear a blindfold and you sit and you tell them. You, you know what song that, uh, that reminds me of have you ever heard of the neo song say it bro i've been listening to that song that is one of my favorite songs of i all love time that song because it's so perfect because that's what i want i might know what you want <laughs> but i want you to tell, tell me. me what you want <laughs> that's, and tell me what you want to do to me too because i want to hear that too exactly that's <laughs> And That's you know what? Part. Another thing too, like when it comes to foreplay, it comes to sex. That I hate when I like I'm we in it and I'm like talking about something, and the and the person be like, "Oh no, like not necessarily I don't like that," or like, um, like they just stop and be like, "Oh yeah, I can't do that," or whatever for and then for whatever reason, it's like, bro, let me let me do this. Let right. me let me talk. Don't interrupt me because you're gonna kill the mood. Like you killing you done blew me now. I ain't interested no more. <laughs> Cause you 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 wanna interrupt me and say what you will and what you won't do and what you like nigga. I know. I know that a lot of y'all are very vanilla, even though y'all want people to think that y'all freaky. You're not. I swear they say that they freaky. You You're not to, freaky. He, before you say that you freaky, you need to pass this test. You need to take this <laughs> test because a lot of times it come out you are 70% vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> like y'all do not be freaky. When people say they're freaky, they just they just go ahead and they they want to hit in front of back. That's freaky to them. <laughs> that is not freaky at all. That's normal. <laughs> That's normal everyday sex stuff. That's freaky to them. Like I'm a freak. Cause you like having sex, that doesn't make you freaky. 
just makes you horny. There's a difference. Right. <laughs> but we can move on to the next segment, which is the hear me out segment with this question. Why do you think foreplay is missing or rarely used in sex? And do you think it's needed? I think um, I think it's missing because people are just like, we're in the microwave generation. So people are just get to it, you know, and it's easier now than it was before uh, with the advent of cell phones. Because when, when I was younger and you were like, you were younger, cell phones weren't as prevalent. So sending pictures wasn't a thing like that. So you were forced to get to know some, you have to get to know somebody like that. You have to talk to them. Like I was telling you before, you have to have that conversation. It is very much so needed though. People need to learn how to do this because otherwise you're just going to have a wax sex life and you're wondering why you want to go explore somewhere else when you have a partner, but you're not doing everything you can to, to, to do that. It comes to being a pleaser a little bit. If you're in a relationship with somebody- you have to at least be want to be a pleaser. Have a little bit of that something. You gotta have a. You got to want to be a pleaser to me a lot in sex, and I don't think nothing wrong with that. And I've always been the the person that's more of the pleaser than anything else, and it's just like Same. it gives me pleasure. Like I don't understand people don't understand that. Like, doesn't it make you feel good to please your partner, man or woman? Does it? It's, it feels <laughs> good to know that you're doing the good stuff, and it kind of. It's like a thing in my brain that triggers, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm doing the right thing. Let me let me keep going down this <laughs> this path." You know, like, I'm I'm doing the right yeah, thing. I'm, it's that I'm, motivation. Exactly. It's that motivation that you need. <laughs> it, it's it <clears throat> it's very important, but I think that people are are overlooking it because it's easier now to just get in get in there and do it. You know, the the fuck buddy things is, is what people are talking about now, and it's so much easier. Sex ain't supposed to be as easy as y'all make it, though. <laughs> it's not. It's supposed to be complex. It's supposed to... they so, People supposed to talk a little bit, so I want people to shut up, like, and stuff like that. Like, I definitely... I feel like it's rarely used. One, because people don't really like each other anymore. People don't like... They don't have sex with people that they like. They have sex with people that they just want pleasure from real quick. Like people don't see the value in each other anymore. So they don't even enter these situations where it's like, oh, I can't wait. It's usually, I just want to bust a nut, whatever. But they don't really like this person. Because if a person like you, they going to give you all that. At least that's how I feel. And I ain't talking about love. That's a different thing. You you have to like what well, I feel like this. You got to like a person to have good sex with them. Not just love. You have to like them. You have to like them enough to want to do certain things to them and with them. And I don't understand how you could be with somebody and you don't want to please them. Like, and I also think it's ego too. It's like, I'm not, I'm, I'm too good for this type of thing. Like I ain't giving, I ain't giving it when, when a lot of times when women say that they not giving head, I be offended. I ain't even got no penis. I be <laughs> like, you're not giving head. Like what you talking about? Like what you mean? Or whatever. I, I feel the same way when I hear a guy say, I don't eat pussy. Like nigga, what? That's basic. And why are you bragging? Why is that a brag? It's weird Why do y'all to me. think that that's a bra- that's not a brag? You're not somebody because you don't give in. Really, you a red flag. I don't want to be with nobody like that. Why don't you want to do that? What is the the thing that? And it's right. honestly, it goes back to I don't know. I think I brought it up on another podcast. Like, it seems like a such a masculine thing uh, to not do it. So, like, in uh in. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen like some old mob movies or whatever, but I think I can't remember which one of them addressed it. But in the mob, if if they found out that you ate your wife's vagina, if you did that, then they would kick you out. Like it would be a sign of like you were not masculine. Is that why men don't know how to eat, eat vagina? I was just like, what? That's why a lot of men don't know how to do it. It's like. I'm because y'all like, think that it, everything is feminine and masculine. Even if it is, is it masculine to do this? So what? Why do y'all care about that type of stuff? 
I don't get it. I never like, cared. I'm and it's like, not I'm... a brag that you don't give head. You're boring. Like, and I think a lot of people too, it's like, especially um, no speaking for women. I think when it comes to give it head, it's like, um, I'm not letting no, I'm not, uh, I'm not letting no man degrade me or whatever. And it's like, degrade me. <laughs> 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 like what you mean i don't i don't yeah, what get you this. mean you ain't want your partner to degrade you a little bit stop trying to act like y'all don't be getting degraded in everyday life right but you can't yeah. get on your knees for somebody because it's degrading and, and somebody gonna post to uh, expose you or whatever i don't care if anybody got a video of me doing that <laughs> expose me post expose it. me i dare you please <laughs> Which, it's gonna make you look like an idiot. Why you post that? Damn, you did it like Expose that. Expose me. Expose me. You are regret it. Supposed to do. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and it's crazy to me when you bring up the videos. Like those people who are supposedly known for like being freaky. They the videos be so stale. I feel like. Do it. That's not what you be saying in them songs. Exactly. <laughs> but everybody thinks that they're good at sex, but y'all are not having foreplay. If you don't have foreplay, you automatically not good at sex to me. Cause, cause, how do you even get to intercourse? Like, really, I really and truly want to know how y'all get there. We gotta have this conversation again with more people, cause I really and truly exactly. want to know. How do y'all get to intercourse if y'all are not having foreplay? What are y'all doing? If anybody wants to chime in on this conversation and we do a part two, I would I really would like y'all to tell us. Please come let us know if y'all want to do a part two and we'll get on it. And if y'all really want to know, like what is what is the process? Because for me, even my first experience was foreplay before him. Mine wasn't. And it's, it was like a first, it was a first failed experience because the whole setup, but we're going to get to that during the story time. Cause I'm going to tell that story. <laughs> I, I'm going to make that nigga feel bad one more time. <laughs> I'll put it the rest. But, um, I like, I really do think that it, it, it's a lot of things. I do feel like ego has to do with it. I feel like a lot of y'all are having sex with people that y'all don't like. Mm -hmm. And that's weird. Like, why are you sharing your body with something that somebody that you don't even like? Do y'all understand how sacred sex is? How it's supposed to be? How sacred it's supposed to be? Like, y'all just be out here just... just I, ain't, ha I, I ain't have sex with nobody that I don't like. And that's a, the, the... That is the at least the least requirement that you should need that you should want to at least like them oh i just be getting i just be doing it with people i don't really know them i'm like you have to have some kind of understanding with it even if you're going to be a fuck buddy with somebody you have to like the person enough to have a conversation and say Apparently what do you, you don't. what do you like what don't you like hey i already told you how them conversations go when you start asking these niggas what you like like what you what do you like when when it comes to foreplay they really and truly cannot tell you they won't say it they'll be like i don't know you gotta you gotta like have the experience so you can find out and it's like i i'm not though the fact that you can't even communicate to me and tell me you know how many people forfeited the opportunity to have sex with me because of stupid stuff like that because you don't want to talk about what you like because you don't want to get tested because certain things like that. And I ain't, I'm not having sex with you if you that, can't that, even communicate to me what you like. That whole conversation like about, uh, you know, what you'll just figure it out or, or, you know, if you have experience or whatever, you could have all the experience in the world. Your experience is not with me. Exactly. And that's My the body point. does not work the same as somebody else's. My mind does not work the same as somebody else's. You could have had great sex with somebody else and be a terrible partner to somebody else because they're two different people. What makes right. a good part, what makes a good sexual partner to me is somebody that's willing to learn, figure out what the person wants. Cause I, I really do, unless you you got, you know willing to be pleased and willing to be degraded. Ain't nothing about sex that's not degrading. You're gonna be doing some stuff. 
<laughs> like you gonna be doing some stuff. I don't do that. I don't. I, uh, you know. Oh, oh, he eat butt. Okay. He eat butt. Oh, you can't you get better watch out. <laughs> like some of the nasty stuff y'all do with y'all mouths, and you worried about what somebody else eating eating butt. Right. Like people, <laughs> people be like I say, it be blowing my mind because it's like, but y'all be bragging. Y'all be bragging so hard about like how good you are, how y'all be having these niggas, how y'all be having these women and dickmatize and I don't know if pussy matize is a thing. I never heard nobody say that. <laughs> uh Dick they call it uh pussy whip. Yeah. Dickmatize, even though I don't agree that that's a thing. But whatever. <laughs> but um we can move to the next segment, which is the let's fix it segment. How do you think we can approach foreplay differently so it can be commonly used in sex like it should be? One of the things I think would be uh, your game, making games of it. Right. Uh, start talking about it, you know, and you don't have to necessarily like, like I said, with one of my experiences I didn't even know that was a form of foreplay until she did it. So just introduce right. it. Start start doing something to see if the person is okay with it. Like, hey, you know, create a scene in their head because some people might not be stimulated. But if you find a person that is, <laughs> <laughs> you hit the jackpot because you didn't. Maybe everybody going to be stimulated if you do it right. Try it. Try it. You remember, um, what, what movie was that? breaking all the rules you remember it was Gab gabrielle union and jamie fox and yeah. um like they were sitting on like the couch or whatever and like they were talking about their fantasies or whatever stuff like that like y'all be copying movies for everything else but y'all should copy stuff like that <laughs> y'all should copy stuff that matters like i really liked that and i was young when i saw that movie and i was like that's actually cool like talking about your fantasies and one thing about me i'm gonna talk about some fantasies with with uh whoever i'm talking to whoever i'm dating the friends with benefits thing don't work for me because a lot of y'all are so detached like a lot of y'all are so like too detached to be even in a situation like that because i feel like y'all think that it, it's not necessarily a friends with benefits. It's just somebody that you have sex with. You hit them up and be like, hey, I'm I'm in town, I'm in your city, or I'm near you, what you doing? Then y'all have sex and that's it. But I feel like friends with benef the friends with benefits situation should change. It's called friends with exactly. benefits. Exactly. I think people get afraid that they're going to get attached. Yeah. They do, and, and if if you in a friends with benefits situation with me, you are. <laughs> hey, and that's no way. That's not a problem. You should be uh mature enough to deal with your feelings. Right, when they and that's the <laughs> thing. That's another thing too. Like people be saying, like you know, I don't have feelings. I don't got feelings and stuff. But y'all be moving scared around here. Like y'all some punks. Y'all be moving scared around here. Yeah, y'all don't have feelings. Y'all don't be led by your emotions. Fear is an emotion. And y'all are led by fear a lot. They're scared to... situations a lot. They're scared to to be real with themselves about their, their feelings and emotions when it comes down to it. They're, yeah. They're, that fear is really like a driving force because you're you missing out on so much because you're afraid. Like you said, the experiences can be better. Like the sexual experiences can be better. Like y'all, and, and I really feel like they think that they they think they sex life be lit. That like no foreplay, we getting straight to it. They that's exciting to them. I think honestly, like the conversation has to go deeper than just you saying the service level stuff. Well, I like, I like to get my B sucked. Okay. Right. Who then? <laughs> I like to get my my the G eight. Okay. And, and right. What else is there? Like you got. What do you going. like about it? What you like? Because right. I'm gonna ask you that. What you like about right. it? Right. What do you like when it's happening? You have to you give and, details. And there are no wrong answers, by the way, when you're talking to me. Like if I ask you some questions and you telling me what you like about something, I ain't gonna make you feel like something wrong with you because you I like think that. That's the thing, though, is people they're so close-minded because if you tell them something like 
especially a man and a woman, uh, a man telling a woman something while well, I like to get my butt licked. No, I don't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You nasty. Or, or, or they don't like giving head. Or the dude say, "I like, I like giving head because they make me feel powerful." Like you just want to make, you just want to degrade me. The person that's getting the head ain't in no power or no control. At like, what is all. you talking about? At do y'all all. even be thinking about the stuff that y'all be saying? If that man feel like powerful when I'm giving him head, he can feel like that. But I'm the one in control. <laughs> Like what you mean? That ain't that, that don't offend me at all because I already know. The giver has the most complete control in that situation. Right. The person that's receiving, you are at that person's mercy. Because exactly. they could, they could especially if they start doing it right, your knees get weak or something like that. And you start <laughs> moving and doing stuff that your body, you're not in control. You of ain't in control. <laughs> but if that's how you feel, <laughs> okay. I ain't gonna correct you. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, I, I I feel that, but I feel like people, it, I feel like the way to kind of like approach it is to communicate, and I, like you said, open mindedness, because y'all be real close minded. If, like you said, the thing about if uh, a man likes getting his butt ate, he get he likes getting his groceries ate he is automatically gay. He's feminine, whatever, and I'm not doing that. It's nasty. That skin ain't really no different than the other skin on your body. As long as it's clean, it ain't no different. I swear, uh, I had a conversation with somebody before I was like really sexually active. I'm like, what does it taste like to <laughs> when you when you lick somebody's vagina or, or butt? There was just like it tastes like skin. No, they said no. They said lick your arm. And I was just like, it's the same thing if it's clean. It's right. It's just a matter of <laughs> if it's clean or not. It's just skin. I was just like, I never thought about it that way. Now it's just like, that's what it is. It's just skin. Right. But I think it's more so a, a mental, a psychological thing, more than just what I'll be doing. It's like that whole word, that word again, degrading, being degrading. Like I'm being degraded because especially depending on the position that you're in or whatever, because you're vulnerable, you're in a vulnerable position. But I just kind of feel like, like I said, there is no part of sex that doesn't make you vulnerable. Y'all can sit here and try to make it seem like it is and y'all y'all, y'all can do this and it doesn't affect y'all, but I don't believe it. And I don't think that, I don't think that you could just have sexual experiences with people and not walk away with something from them. You don't got to be in love with them. You ain't got to be crazy over there with nothing like that. But you walking away with something, you can't avoid it because of the act itself, the way that you, the way, the the amount of vulnerability you have to be in, like, it's kind of like you're at your weakest when you're having sex. Ain't nothing about it that's that's not degrading because because it you're you're vulnerable in anything that you do, and that's okay, right? It is okay to be vulnerable in that way. It especially in situations like that. Why you? Why y'all always want to be on guard or in control? Y'all are not supposed to be in control when you're having sex. That's not what it's I for. Don't, I don't think it's possible to to have a guard up and have amazing sex me neither that's why i don't be believing people when they be bragging about how good they are i'll be like y'all don't be having good sex y'all be drunk y'all be high because i'll be hearing a lot of y'all say that y'all can't have sex sober and it's wild to me y'all don't even y'all don't even know what y'all be doing because y'all be drunk and high all the time how do you even remember what was good and what was not right and this certain part of your body was overly stimulated. Maybe if you took ecstasy or something like that. So maybe you might not like that when you're sober. Exactly. It's weird. It's weird. Oh, I, I'm going to get this girl drunk so I, you know, she she get freaky when she get drunk. Nigga, what? No, really. That's weird. She, she's not freaky. She's just not in control. And you want to be in control because you know otherwise she wouldn't have sex with you. Exactly. And that makes it weird that that's what makes you perverted and sick like it's 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 crazy but 
do you think that that's something that's ever going to change? You think that people are ever going to get to a point where it's like, you know what? I actually really like, I like kissing people. I don't I, like. I say I don't like to kiss a lot of the time either, but it's it's not on some. I'm. I think I'm too good to kiss people. It's really just the it, thought it's of gonna... the germs. That's it. But if right. I'm with, but if I'm with you, or if I'm attracted to you, or when I'm, if I'm with you, because I ain't having sex with nobody that I ain't with. <laughs> it just ain't happening. If I'm with you, I'm gonna do all that, and you won't even know that I don't like it. Right. I think um, I just lost my train of thought. I just flew away. Uh, <laughs> trying to get it back. It's cool. I just lost it. It's gone. That's cool. But yeah, I feel like people a lot of it be putting on too. And I think people are used to getting by without having to do certain things. Sometimes oh, if you, a you guy have... has you go ahead. You asked about like the, what would it take to change it in, in society. I think it, it it would take more people being honest because I feel yeah. like a lot of people are fronting. Yeah, I think it's they It's not be that lying. many. It's not that many of y'all that don't like kissing like that. That don't like the intimacy. They be lying. They be scared. You just want to sound ter- sound cool like everybody or, else, or they be scared. They be terrified because if I'm if I get that close to somebody, then I might fall in love. What is about what is it about love that scares y'all so much? What is it about getting hurt that scares y'all so much? It, it literally happens. You're literally hurting yourself for not opening yourself up to these experiences. I tell everybody, take a chance. You're taking a chance That's every hurt. day if, if you walk outside. You, you take a chance of getting hit by a car. I said, you going to stop going outside because you're afraid to get hit by cars? Right. It's it's a risk. And it is a risk. I'm and not it's saying crazy. it's not. It's crazy. People will put themselves in so many risky situations, but love? Oh, yeah. Relationships? Mm-mm, too risky. And I ain't willing to take that risk. But you will get high and walk around with a gun. Which is you, extra dangerous. You'd be putting your whole life on the line. You will recover from heartbreak. But you might not recover from some of those decisions you made. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Heartbreak really sucks. But at the same time, if it's been it's beautiful, it is beautiful. Heartbreak, that time, heartbreak that time, can be beautiful. It's so if you're a creative. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the, the art that comes from heartbreak. <laughs> the art that comes from heartbreak is some of the best stuff that we've ever seen on, beautiful. on movies, music, exactly. looking, uh who's Mary J. Blige's album? What was it? Uh was it what's the 401? No, what's the one after what's the 411? I don't know. Um I can't tell you. But it was the one after that when she went into it. That album was because she got heartbroken. Right. And you could feel it. I'm Is it like, no more, no more, no, no more drama? Was that an album? No more drama was one of the uh, albums. That's... It was before before okay. that. I, I have to look it up right now. She did a special one or this on uh Amazon. I need to watch that. But yeah, y'all, y'all be claiming to be so emotionless, but fear be having y'all by the ball set. Fear <laughs> be having y'all in the choco. And my I don't life. like no scary people. Oh yeah, my life. I don't like scary people. So if you're gonna say stuff like, oh, I don't want to catch feelings or something like that, don't worry. You ain't gonna catch nothing from exactly. me. Exactly. You're gonna be trash. <laughs> oh, I'm able and, to do it. You know, the way the way that I, my thing is when I'm doing you, like you you might catch feelings. You gonna I'm, catch you, some feelings. Cause because I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm just, I'm right. exploring stuff. You might you, you might have started off as just friends with benefit. I, I think she's my girl now. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna learn today. <laughs> and that's what they be scared of. Like, oh, like she gonna make me or he gonna make me fall in love, whatever. And it's like that's the point. Right. Ain't that wrong with falling in love? So you might fall in love with her in that moment. Walk away from that and be good. <laughs> exactly. Which I don't feel like nothing wrong with that. I don't feel like nothing wrong with like falling in love with people in the moment and then like after that, you good on them. Like we good. If y'all gonna be out here having sex with any and everybody, why not? It reminds me of that song. I don't know if you heard of uh E40 song just fucking. 
No, I, I got to go listen to it. I got to listen to it, but I ain't heard it. It was like the lyrics said, we not in love, but we pretend. We both know we just fucking. But yeah. uh, don't act like you want this to end. I know you don't. Oh, know yeah. Don't. I remember that song. <laughs> we I remember both that song. Know. It's just like we pretended. We know we not in love, but we damn sure pretend to be. <laughs> I feel like you ain't nothing wrong with that. You should. <laughs> when you have a sex, yeah, I'm in love with you. I ain't going to tell you that now. If you ask me to say it, all that stuff that y'all be calling out, call me daddy. Because I ain't the type to get dick massaged. You can say anything. Y'all be using y'all be using your penises like pistols, trying to threaten <laughs> people and stuff. Trying to threaten people and stuff. Trying to get people to say stuff and agree to stuff. You going to have to kill me. I ain't saying nothing. Ain't nothing coming uh, out of my mouth. What's his name? Uh, Exhibit said, uh, <laughs> I use my dick like a credit card. I slide it through and money come out. <laughs> <laughs> if only. <laughs> it don't work that way buddy right you might trick somebody else into doing that but you're not gonna be able to trick trick me like doing that right. i'd be like that was bomb i ain't doing that thing can i can i do such and such i will literally scream nope. and, and, and do all types of move i'll do all types of screaming and stuff but i ain't saying nothing you not right. my daddy that's weird no, this ain't your vagina. It's mine, and you know that. I'm not saying it. <laughs> like, what you be? <laughs> I always think of that, like, when somebody said that, like, you got dad issues? Like, yeah. Like, I, you, that is weird to me. Why you want to? Why you want somebody to say that so bad? Daddy this, daddy that. Mm-mm. I'm good. My relationship <laughs> with my daddy is good. I don't got daddy issues. I ain't calling nobody else daddy. <laughs> <laughs> like we good but to move on to the next segment which is the story time segment do you have a story of a time lack of foreplay or bad foreplay ruined a sexual experience you thought would go well how did you handle it i want to hear yours first because i'm interested <laughs> <laughs> so with mine was this my like first sexual experience ever yeah he i don't consider him my first because it was failed like i said he was putting that thing everywhere but where it was supposed to go <laughs> <laughs> but <Couldn't> find a hole <laughs> but uh it was yeah it was my first sexual experience first of all the setup from the beginning was it was headed for a disaster but like i think i had went I had went to stay with my cousins for the weekend. Like, I used to stay with my cousins because they used to live by themselves. So, niggas used to come over. Like, when I was with dating somebody, they would they would be able to come over there or whatever. And, you know, you got you you got more private. I was I was grown by then now. I was, I was 18. I waited until the time my mama told me that she wanted me to wait. So, you know, I'm... I'm I'm thinking, okay, I'm 18. We we gonna say yes to some of these experiences because dudes didn't really used to ask me to have sex like that. Um, they didn't. I can't say why. Probably because they thought that it wouldn't happen. But <laughs> um, but um, uh, it this was somebody that I used to date. Uh, it was kind of like on and off with us or whatever. This person I consider to be my twin flame or whatever. So I went to my cousin's house and he told me that he um was coming by and and I and did we talk about having sex? It's crazy because in our relationship we didn't really talk about sex a lot. We talked about uh, I talked about it sometimes and like he was like one of the first people that I would like talk to about the things that I was interested in and stuff like that because I remember before I even had sex I was planning to have a threesome with him and one of my friends what my best friend actually at the time wild right like you ain't even had sex yet we talking about a threesome you was and I, under, I understood exactly what a threesome was it wasn't that I didn't get it I understood exactly what it was I understood what I was gonna have to do to her I understood what I was gonna have to do to him what he was gonna have to do to her and me I understood he was like, trying to oh, and all I, the bases at once. He was I was, trying to I was score with a home it. run first time out. <laughs> and I was with it. It didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen though. But um, but we finally got in a situation where we could have a sexual experience or whatever. So 
number one takes me to a abandoned house that is like disgusting it's cold outside so that means i gotta i had on this uh this was we call it jackets the jackets with like the hood the fur on the hood or whatever i had on one of those and it was cold you know i'm anemic so i gotta stay warm so it wasn't a good it wasn't a good setup so he first the house is abandoned no lights it's nasty he has to light a candle take me takes me to the bed there's no sheets nothing on it no blanket whatever like i said it's cold i gotta keep my coat on we get there no foreplay happens of course because we're children and obviously and i was so like disappointed when i started having sexual experiences with dudes especially the ones who were sleeping with a with, with who was known to you know be having sex and they didn't know what they were doing like it was so disappointing to me i was like uh, i thought this was gonna be fun but it wasn't but like we got there and i'm trying to remember exactly how it happened it was terrible but I had I had to keep my jacket on, so that means from from my neck to my waist, I got on clothes, <laughs> which is weird from the beginning. So update, I, I I did I take off my underwear? I think I did, or did I just or did he just pull them down? Either way, either way, we started. The, the bando is a wild setup. Though. <laughs> it, it, it was it was terrible, but yeah that's what happened but um either way he tried like i said he tried to there was no foreplay no kissing i don't think i don't think we did we kiss you probably no we didn't there was no kissing because i feel like he was in a rush so there was no kissing this is back then when niggas didn't have cars like they used to get their homeboys to take them places so he had somebody bring bring him there whatever um there was no kissing or nothing no did he i think he ate me out <laughs> back then eating out was just like licking licking a little bit and then stopping because that's really what happened <laughs> like it was like for a couple of seconds like he he licked it a little bit and it was like okay like do you think that that's <laughs> enough that's it, for that's me to all. be ready or whatever and then so he tried to put it, so he tried to put it in or whatever and like I said, it was going everywhere, but where it was supposed to go, like it was going in my butt, which I did. But <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have to put a a, which... a TVMA for this episode, <laughs> <laughs> which I didn't really mind. But he wasn't doing it right. It was like he was just missing every hole. Like nigga, you got two to work with, and you can't get in none of them. And then at some Damn. point, at some point, he just kind of like gave up and was like, all right, this is not going to happen. Um, and I never gave him the opportunity to try again. You got one time to strike out with me. But like, it just, it was quick, very quick. It didn't go, it didn't go anywhere. It was dark in there. I was ready to go. And I think a lot of it, I just didn't even really remember because it probably more things that happened, but I don't remember, but it was terrible. And um, I made him feel very bad about it afterwards. <laughs> very bad i never What'd let you it do? go i let he i'm about to tell on myself he uh ended up getting locked up like a couple of was it months after that it was probably like a couple of months after that and we was writing back and forth and i was telling him like bro i can't believe you did that to me like you took me to <laughs> an abandoned house no lights it was dirty in there like for my first time I mean, he was apologetic. Like he he told me that he was sorry. Like he shouldn't have tried me like that. Whatever, whatever. Um, with that whole situation, but I do still bring it up sometimes to make him feel bad. <laughs> it was terrible. I forgive him for it, but I was very disappointed. I was like, my mom and them didn't tell me that this stuff type of stuff happens. They made it seem like it's all fun. This is oh, not no. fun. Oh no, this is not fun <laughs> at all. It is but not. yeah, it was quick like that. Like it was a couple of it was a couple of minutes that I had to go through. Then I think did he try again in the car? No, he didn't. He didn't. I don't think so. But yeah, it was terrible. Uh, 
have a couple of bad experiences. <laughs> Me too, but I just went with that one. Uh, one of them, I, I think I told you. I, uh, I did tell you already. Smelly titty girl. Um, it was just like because I'm very sensual, so I like to to kiss all over and caress and all of that. And smell is a big thing when it comes to down to to foreplay. I think that is something that people don't account for because you smelling good is a plus on my thing already. You, know? right. you already stimulated one of my senses. Right. You smelling good, so if if one of those is off, I'm just be like, oh. <laughs> and I've I've gotten to the point where I remember one where I was about to get, you know, we got to do it in a car, which car sex sucks. I don't know, I don't care what y'all say. You say it sucks. Car sex sucks unless it's a nice car, like it's got enough space. But because I was bigger, and I'm now I'm smaller, but I was bigger, so it's kind of <laughs> hard. It's kind of hard for fat people, <laughs> especially especially when it's two it's two fat people. Like they <laughs> got enough leg room, especially like when you with a thick girl, you know, thick thighs and stuff like that. They don't fit in the places they're supposed to fit, right? <laughs> oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta figure some stuff out. You gotta find, you gotta lay the seat up, bend over the seat, something. It's some ways. I, it was one girl where we she wanted to do it in the car, so we got in her back seat. And... Why do people go? Never mind. Go ahead. And we she chilled to the park and then like she wanted to get started already like before we we had talked on the phone for like a couple of days and I'm like okay let's meet up and talk that's literally my thing I never say meet up and and fuck or smash <laughs> my thing was let's meet up and talk and if it leads to that then that's cool but I have to get to so she wants to do it and so we like oh let's go to the back seat so we're sitting there I'm trying to talk and then she pulls down her area and. A smell hits me immediately, and I was just like, <coughs> <laughs> "Yeah, I think you should take me back home." <laughs> what she said? She was just like, "Why? Why?" I, I just, I'm, I'm not into it right now. It's not a good idea right now. Mm. I was like, "Yeah, I can't." I was like, "What? What happened? Like some wrong?" <laughs> I was asking you a bunch of questions. You would have had to. If she would have, she would have pushed me. I would have, I would have told her. And the thing was, your, too, your like titties, I, I, your titties stink. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing, though. Like, we can't even get no further because of that. Like, I'm already... Bro, it would have been a bunch of dudes that would have just... They would have kept going. I think that's what it was. They're not going to tell you, but me or my my thing will shrivel up because of the smell. <laughs> it, it just I can't do it. It'd be like... I, I don't know what it is, but it smells really good to me. Like, my house smelling good Bro, is something I feel that has to you. Be, like, so if you smell off, I'm going to say something. Like, if I don't say something, I'm out of there. Like, back, especially back then. Now, I'm older. I'm too old to be wasting time. I'm going to tell you. Like, you, yeah. girl, you know. You know you should. <laughs> What's wrong girl, with me? Not, don't act like you don't smell that. <laughs> girl, you know you're supposed to take a bath before you do anything. <laughs> what kind of soap do you use? <laughs> you would think that people would know that. They should. Some people will get by and not do it. That that was the funniest part of the Monique special to me. Is, I don't know if you have seen it yet. She did a new special. Mm -hmm. it just oh, came no, out. People are really, know. really, really hating on it, and I think it's it's classic Monique. It was actually okay. funny. People, well, you know, but Monique is vulgar. Yeah, and it's vulgar. And but one of the things she said was she was expecting her man. You know, she used to man doing whatever she wanted to, and her man put her in her place. She had been out all day and everything. And he, she came back home and was like, you know, it's time to get this work. And he said no. And then she said he he went down there and swiped his finger down there and put it up to her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if somebody would have did that to me, I would have licked it. <laughs> she was just like, oh, oh, oh. Bro, you're not about to win this fight. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, you go, you go, you gonna commit, huh? You gonna go all the way in? Oh, yo, you not about to win this? I'm gonna leave that job. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it was good. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the things it's, it's been. And then I've also had, of course, bad people that that claim that they're good at such certain things, and they're not. 
And so you just got to be like, especially that. like a lot of, I feel like, well, I, I think both men and women lie, but it'd be a lot of women that be saying they good ahead. And it's like, bro, men literally will lie to you. <laughs> like they'll lie to you. I don't even be believing a lot. When, whenever a guy tells me that I'm good at sex, I don't believe them. Cause I be feeling like you got to say that. So you can keep that, getting it. That's the thing. Like to me, it's wording. I'm not gonna ask you if you're good at it. More right. asking what you, what you like. Somebody asked me if I'm good at it. I say you'll find out. Right. Until we, we go find, you'll find out. Because right. it might not be good to you. I mean, I haven't really had that experience, but I might get into one hmm. where she say I'm trash. You 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 the worst. You know? Oh, you know about to tell me I'm trash. So <laughs> over. I'm a, I'm gonna figure it out. You know, if I I'm was really... lacking. Well, I've been like that so I can show you what time it is for real. A lot of women too <laughs> get mad at me because before there's times where I, I would would even want fellatio at all because I've had so many bad experiences. So it's just like, oh, I'm about to... Okay, that's fine. You, they about to do what? They about to... You know, the... the um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know what? No, what they call it? The, right. guac, the, the uh, guac... guac. The guac, 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 3, guac, 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 they really would just do that. Like, I remember one of my exes, I was talking to him. He was like, yeah, you was the first girl that I gave head to. I said, huh? He was like, yeah, you was the first girl that I went down on. And I was like, when did that happen? And he was telling me, like, I'm like, bro, that was not head. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I think you need that to. That was not head. It, 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 it's first off, you have to have an understanding of the female anatomy. And yep. then also, women need to tell the, the guy, hey, you suck. You're not I'm doing something right. Wait, no, stop. Stop. They, they tell somebody that, you, that you're that you not feeling that. Otherwise, you're going to keep having bad experiences. Yeah. If you just gonna, if you just go with the flow or whatever. I think a lot of, a lot of dudes get a vagina. Like, they really are. They're scared of it. They don't really know what to do with it. It's like what it is. Like I can not imagine though laying between somebody's leg and just looking at that junk and be like, "What am I supposed to do with this?" I've I've always been gung ho. Like let's get this ball rolling. I mean, y'all would be too, but I'm just don't saying. Tease, don't it's tease me with a good. T- I feel like it could be. I feel like it could be uh, intimidating because there's so many parts to it. For for me, like uh, especially if I'm in a relationship with you. All you got to do is point to the area. Don't tease me with a good time. <laughs> you already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Bro, it's some people that like doing it, but it's some people that I feel like be intimidated because they don't know. Probably. They, it's come, know they come doing. face to face with that junk, and they be like, okay. All these like, moving what parts. <laughs> what next? What do you I gotta do? Have a, a, Where do a, I... a basic understanding of what the clitoris is. And <laughs> you should... It's one of the most important parts, but I feel like all every all parts of the vagina has. I feel like it should all be explored. I feel like you know the labia minora, labia majora, whatever. Like you can, all of it has feelings, and sometimes it can be sense. On some some women, it can be they're... sensitive, but you can lick. Some women will say just lick the clitoris, but. I feel like you can lick more than the clitoris. You just have to know how to do it. I think uh, there's a lot of guys that are, that might watch this and have no idea what you said. Maybe one of the cop we need to break that down. You need to understand the anatomy. Maybe a major <laughs> There's it's more than just the clitoris. There's more than just the canal. There's more than just the, the uterus. There's more than just the because the, the vagina is the the opening of it. <laughs> Right. The vaginal canal, the the opening of it or whatever. But it's a lot of parts. That's why I say I think it's intimidating to people. Also, women also has have perineums, or what y'all call them, gooch, taint, whatever. We also have those. And you like getting like, those? We, we have those. 
pay attention to that too. And also, not even just that, like it don't necessarily gotta be just vaginal uh stimulation. The thighs are sensitive. That's a, that area is sensitive. It's things you can do. You can do massages. Exactly. It, it's so many things. Like y'all, because y'all be spending a lot of time looking at porn, but porn doesn't teach anything. It's just performative. If you really exactly. want to learn something, you have to. There are people that teach classes. There are uh people, sex therapists that there are articles you can read. There are so many things it's so many and i've even found porn that sh- teaches you was, how to get that. head there, there is how good, to do it there is good porn where they, they actually do they teach you the how to thing. do it but you have to actually find those the one that's pushed to you the most is the straight to it or the, because that's because they are using it to get off if you actually because i feel like and that's the thing too when it comes to sex people don't want to learn how to do it because I feel like there's this thought that either you're good or you're not. And I feel like for some people, and it ain't even necessarily I'm good. It's I'm sexual. I, I have accepted. I I have a connection with my sexuality. I'm a sexual person. I have a connection with my own body. So it's easier for me to please somebody because I'm a sexual person, but not everybody is like that. So you can learn to do to be like that. You can right. you can learn how to to improve when it comes to sex. Like it's not if either you got it or you don't. It's not like that. You can learn how to do certain things. Like those people that y'all think that are that just got it or naturally good. Like for instance, a lot of y'all have this uh misconception that you have to have a lot of sex to be good at, it, and that's not true. Because I. I'm not gonna sit here and be like I'm good at sex because I don't like bragging. I don't have a whole I don't have a whole lot of sexual experiences, but because of the way that I view sex, it gonna be an experience. <laughs> because of the way I, that I view it. And I think it's important for me to know a person's body, for me to do things that you actually gonna like. And I don't tell, I don't talk. So not kissing and telling. That's something that people got to adopt, too. That's another thing. It's not, it's not a brag to sit there and tell me uh, right. you know, what you did with somebody else. I ain't going to get I, mad at you and start talking about the stuff that you like doing, that you I, like me doing to you. I'm not going to do none of that. That's that's lame. That really is lame. Like, you see people in a, getting an argument in front of people. Well, I licked your ass. Yeah, it's like, but you, you, you did it. You did you it. You did it. You licked the ass. Like, you the <laughs> one that looks stupid. <laughs> You made yourself look bad to me, but everybody else on the outside. Oh, girl, you, you got your no, bro. I don't exactly. care. Exactly. You the one that did it. It make you look bad if that's the case. It don't really make you look bad. It look. It don't it make you look bad for saying something like that. That's wild. Exactly. Because when you say that you did it, that means that you're saying that it was something that you think is negative or is nasty or whatever. So when you put that, uh, when you put that type of energy onto it you're making the situation seem like a bad situation that's why you look bad the same with people who be out and people like he dl or he like trans women y- you can't say that you want to be accepted and then shame people shame people for having sex with you to me because that's contradicting to me that that makes especially if somebody is vulnerable enough to tell you something like that Right, uh, person about themselves, and then you go tell somebody else. It make you look like a, a clown to me. Right, you really look stupid to me. Why? Why would you? They trusted you to to do something, and now oh, you think I'm gonna laugh with you or something? No, no, you I'm look, not. You look dumb, and you did you 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 saying to yourself that you're something to be ashamed of. You're admitting that you you are admitting that you believe that this person should be ashamed of messing with you because you're whatever. And out with somebody like having that mentality when when that per- when stuff don't work out with that person and you out them that's messed up that that's very messed up what you do in the privacy of your of your bedroom or wherever you choose to do it because i know it's just not the bedroom because right you know whatever wherever you choose to do it at when you have sex with somebody that is between y'all Exactly. That really is between y'all. Unless you get with a, a stud of, uh, another serious partner and y'all having a real conversation about bad experiences and like that, 
you know, and it's then even then it's even like then you don't tell everything. They be telling names and go look at right. his, Why look at going, his Facebook. Like, yeah, he, he did going this, to the names he did that. Stuff. Oh, you could put a name to the face because he had a little dick. Huh? If anything, I'm gonna be talking about what I'm bragging about what I did. Like, I ain't talk about what what somebody else did or or like just whatever. If you ask me about my bad experiences, I'm gonna reflect. I'm a, I'm a, it's gonna be about how I felt in that moment and stuff like that. I'm not gonna try to make that person feel bad because sometimes the chemistry don't be there. Like, I think it's important to know how to choose a good sexual partner the chemistry don't be there y'all just be horny so y'all just are are okay with having sex with anybody but it it's it's literally there's literally a what you it's a formula like i think you need good chemistry you need to be open-minded you need to be willing to please and willing to be degraded because it it's gonna happen I swear I cannot <laughs> see see fellatio or any form of anything that being degrading. degrading. It's not. It's just you are pleasing like your partner. Like you remember the episode of Insecure where Issa was mad that uh Daniel came on her face. <laughs> <laughs> that was episode was so funny. It bro, was a she, whole episode. She made such a big deal out of it. I was like, bro, came on your face. Was you about to do? I'm about to. I'm about to. Uh, and she he warned you. <laughs> you should have got. You should have done. You should have. It's your fault at that to, at that point. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm not cool with that. But the same it, time, it would have been different if you would have been like, I don't like that, and he did it. But if y'all didn't have that conversation, and it just kind of happened, it wasn't like he was like, "Ooh, I'm about to nut on your face." Like, I, I that's, like he was getting off on it. It just kind of happened. That's why having a conversation with somebody about your likes and dislikes is very important so somebody don't push that button oh i don't like that okay cool what do you like then right because if you find out what they do like then you're gonna be focused on those things and that too like the you will find out when we have sex it's like now i feel like you're gonna try to trick me to do something that i don't like Cause I feel like when you don't have that conversation, you leave room for that, for like there to be manipulation. Like, oh, I'm now, now, now you peeing in my face. I ain't asked for that. <laughs> when I asked you what you like, I tell I, when I tell partners before that I'm open, and I'm just like, what is your hard stops? I said I really don't have any except for scat play. Like when it, I don't know if you know what scat play means. Was that? Uh, Boo boo play, you know, it. anything I like that, it. you know. I'm, yeah, I ain't I'm not, with that. I'm golden, not with that, but I ain't with the golden, golden showers. showers but, but other than that, now, that's pretty, the green. I'm pretty open minded. Like, what? What do you going to tell? That's me? a type of degradation. I ain't with. Right, that's that's just <laughs> nasty and very unsanitary. That is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> now I, mean, I but, got. Now I got pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't I can't get down with that. But other stuff like you gotta be open minded a little bit, but Yeah, like also, you can it's okay to have boundaries, but it's like y'all be not wanting to do basic stuff. Like, hey, like what is wrong with y'all? Who raised y'all? And then you like you can say you don't like something because the media said you don't you're not supposed to like it. And most guys say they don't like getting they they ask it because the media says it. When it's a scientific like fact that the part there that that's the, the only the way a it could be spot. stimulated. It's a spot the, there for every guy. The a Everyone spot is stimulation. And I feel like y'all missing out. Y'all ain't even having the pinnacle. Y'all ain't even hitting the pinnacle that y'all could be hitting with sex. Y'all having trash sex if that's the case. Because y'all missing out, bro. For real. And then it, it don't make me feel good that I can't do that to you. <laughs> Cause I'm a pleaser, and I I wanna I wanna be able to do something that you gonna like really like that you gonna look at me and be like, dang you nasty, <laughs> right? You, you taking that away from me? <laughs> I don't like it. that. You know that look though when somebody give you when you just did something <laughs> that they didn't really expect, but they like it and be like, okay, yeah. it, it, it's like a stimulation for me. I'm like, yes. Me too. Like, like you're taking that away from me. There are those of us who just like 
seeing you get pleasure. And I've had pl- plenty of other parties. I've, people take advantage of that too, but I've had experiences where, oh, you want to just do stuff to me? Yeah, why not? Right. After that, sometimes you know, that's cool. I don't like. I don't have to do nothing to you. No, that's cool. Eventually, maybe we could get there, but for this time, I, I just want to do something. Nothing wrong with that either. But I feel like people be selfish. It's like I ain't never been in a situation where somebody was like, "Let me just please you." <laughs> It's usually give and take or take, take, take. But give and take is cool. Just don't be take. Just don't take, take, take. There's a song I love by uh, Marsha Ambrosius. Um, What was the name of the song? I ought to send it to you. When we we have our jam session, I'm going to play that song. Okay. But we can move to the next segment, which is the wealthy health segment. What are some things people can do to introduce or improve foreplay with their partners if they are lacking? And what are some resources they can use to learn different forms of foreplay? I feel like we answered that. Yeah, we did. Anyway, when we uh was just talking. But Definitely. I'll say this. Some resources, Shan Booty on YouTube. Um, Shan- Shannon Boodram, I think is her name. But I think her YouTube name is Shan Booty. I learned a lot from that woman. And she's like a modern you know, sex therapist. Like whenever I started looking at YouTube heavy, um, I used to look at her a lot. And I learned a lot from her. Um, and I think that's something that y'all should check out. Y'all should check her YouTube channel out. She also sometimes she appear on shows and stuff like that to talk about sex. I've seen her on um what's the name of that show? Mm, what's the name of that show where they 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 come to the they go to the this island and too hot to handle like you can't have sex so you can't have sex and every time somebody kiss or have sex or whatever they get money taken out of the pot so it kind of like those people who just want to have sex it kind of like forces them to build emotional connections rather than coming in here and just having sex with everybody but she be on there a lot but I think, you know, if y'all want to to learn some things, y'all want to improve when it comes to foreplay, Sham Booty is somebody that I really like. Also, just research. Go on Google. Uh, there's another person you should look up, uh, sexologist Shamira. I don't know if you've ever heard of her before. No, I, don't, I haven't. Uh, there's a couple episodes that she did with, uh, with Kevin on stage's wife, Mrs. Kevin on stage. Uh, she had a podcast called The Love Hour. And she had like a bunch of good episodes about that, learning different ways to, to check play. her out. It's it was a really really interesting, and it's it's dealing with stuff in a different way that people it might make you uncomfortable at first because you're not used to. It. But be open minded to up. check it out. Sexologist Shamira, I probably I think that might have been a girl that I saw on Poor Minds. Like she do classes and stuff. Yep. Like yeah yeah, I think I I know her. I like her too. I yeah, like her. It, it's it's a it's a whole wealth of information out there, which is the good thing about the internet. Like you can find stuff to to research to get better. But right. You have to be willing to at first admitting that you don't That's know. That's what I was about to it's say. Okay. It's not, okay. Not all of y'all are throat goats. Right. <laughs> not <laughs> not not all of y'all are nasty like that. Not all of y'all like eating like eating vagina. Like not all of y'all are good. I don't believe y'all. Stop saying it. <laughs> I it's really okay. It is okay. To it's be okay that not way. to be good. Like you can learn and stop letting people stop letting people make y'all feel like y'all can't learn how to be better at sex. Right. You can learn. And really, the secret really is accepting your sexuality and like tapping into it, learning your own body. Because I, I didn't. Well, I, I did know this because I, like I said, when soon as when my mama started talking to me about sex, I learned everything that I wanted I, that I uh, wanted to learn about it. But I know that a lot of y'all don't have a good relationship with your vagina or your your penises or whatever. Uh, some of y'all don't masturbate and stuff like that. Um, and I think masturbation is a start, like getting comfortable, getting comfortable doing that, getting comfortable touching yourself, getting comfortable looking at yourself as sexy, whatever, like, thank God for my mom. I'm so happy she instilled some of those things in me. I know people don't really do that with their kids because they think 
I don't want my daughter to be out here having sex, but because she did, I don't be out here having sex. You know, like y'all thought I was going to be. <laughs> it really is it's wild to me that people are out here and don't masturbate or, you know, in a relationship. Yeah. Or if my man jack off, is something wrong? I was like, no, it, it no it's he's not. Just, he's just figuring out his body. Even if it is porn, but at the same time, there's some, there's ways to do it without porn, which I right do all the time if you can stimulate if i can stimulate myself and i can tell you what i like exactly <laughs> when you know your body and like you like you said where you can stimulate yourself and also experiment with your body like i think i think that's a thing too that's missing because y'all feel like in order for y'all to have good sex it has to always be with somebody but i feel like the first thing that you need to have in order to have good sex is a good relationship with your sex organs. You need to have a good relationship with it and get out of that. I know when we were kids, they tried, they used to try to shame us for being being human, basically. Even even if you weren't really thinking about sex, they were shaming you. You you around boys, you fast. They don't want right. you to talk about sex. You shouldn't be thinking about sex when really that's all you think about because that's human. Exactly. Like, and you have and, to have start having a healthy relationship with it, right? A healthy and relationship I understand with your body, that conversations and everything. Exactly, like you said, I'm talking about like doing mirror play, being in the mirror, doing certain things in front of the mirror. Like, if you are ashamed of yourself when you're alone. I can't imagine how you would be with somebody else. I can't imagine you being able to enjoy sex with somebody else if you're ashamed of yourself when you're alone. Like, I feel like that's the first thing that you need to do. Like, ain't no shame in masturbating. At all. Well, I'm afraid. It was one point before where I was afraid I was going to get caught in a relationship. I'm just like. Yeah, like, why are you stressing out? Why am I afraid if I if, if, if something happened if you think something there's something wrong with you, right? Especially for a relationship. If I walk in and I catch somebody that I'm with masturbating, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna ask I'm one s- question. Can you I watch? Help? You <laughs> no, want help? Can I watch? Sometimes <laughs> I ain't even want to help you. I just want to look at you. I'm gonna ask, can I help? Or you need your time alone? Or can right. I be in here? Right. I could be in here. I'm like, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stay. This I ain't gonna make show. you feel bad for it. And also, if I ever with somebody they don't want to have sex with me, I'm rolling right over and masturbating. <laughs> I ain't going to no other room. I ain't doing none of that. I'm rolling it's, right it's over. It's crazy to me that we'll have these sexual relationships where a lot of times it's so trash and then afterwards, you go in the bathroom and masturbate. You shouldn't have to do that. Though. Right. You should be able to tell the person, hey, because sometimes things can be improved. If I feel like them. progress reports, I always say this with everything we talk about, progress reports, because I want to know, you ain't going to hurt my feelings, I want to know how 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 I did certain things, what I need to do, what you want more of, and I ask, I ask people that all the time whenever I'm dating them, because I don't think nothing wrong with that, progress reports. I asked, I think I've asked every partner, was it good? And I right. don't lie to me. Or are you satisfied? I want, think that's the most important question. Are you satisfied? You want something else? Like, be honest too. And for real, yeah. for me, once I learn body language and I learn like different things that certain people can't hide, people people dilation is something you can't fake. <laughs> so, and I'll be is. like, oh, you just. I, I had one girl. I told her, you just nope. Don't play with me like that. Right. You, you need to tell the truth. I took the theater and I was just like, if you're not feeling this, let me know what is. First of all, you should want you should you should want me to know that that head wasn't hitting like that. Cause that junk gonna be in my head like, dang, that nigga said that head wasn't hitting like that. It wasn't hit like that. What can I do to make it hit? <laughs> like 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 everything in life, the only way you're gonna improve on something is somebody tells you where your flaws are communicate it right and you have to be willing to accept it especially if it's said the right way like hey that's no i can't if somebody says it the right way you could be you could have two things you could either be really offended and just, right oh, man, or you because can be like okay some people don't like being told what to do and stuff like i already know what to do obviously you don't know if they're telling you to do something else take direction actually make a game about it if if that person is telling you what did what to do play into that job instead of being offended like 
Nigga, who you think you're talking to? I'm throw goat. I had to, I had to go, you're not the throw goat. Because you I say to, you. I had to grow up and be willing to tell somebody how to do something. You know, that that was a really a, a maturity thing is being able to communicate and say, tell, tell somebody what you like should not be offensive. You tell somebody right. what you like and they start they start doing it. It's magic, you know? It's, that's the magic. That's part People of the People be thing. giving up on this so fast. It just be like, it's you're good. not good. I don't want to do it. Now I'm about to find somebody to cheat on you with. Instead of when, talking to your partner. When you didn't give them the opportunity to to do it. To show time. you if they could be better at it. Yeah, I, a lot of people say, well, I ain't never had somebody tell me I was bad at such and such. That does not mean you're be- you're not better. Exactly. <laughs> and like I said, a lot of y'all don't be having good sex. Y'all be drunk and y'all be high. You don't know what happened. At all. Super trash, though. <laughs> and I'm going to need y'all to start doing self-assessments. Because if y'all can't have sex without being drunk, something is clearly wrong. That is really not is. normal. I want to be sober. Because you ain't about to lie to me. I mean, I have done it under the influence of... I've never really done drunk. I don't it's like different it. if you're if y'all are doing it to, like, heighten it. But if you got to get drunk just to have sex, like, every single time, but, like, if y'all, like, using something to, like, heighten a pleasure, that's different. But, like, if you got to... Oh, I can't have sex. Because I be seeing a lot of people say that. I can't have sex sober. Sober sex is boring. It's like... No, y'all are just doing it wrong. Exactly. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. It be so, the it be the ego. It be the I don't want to know that I'm. I ain't want to know that I'm just sucking you off like that. Right. I want to really. Know. I want to be aware right. of everything I'm. I'm doing. There is nothing that I've done as far as that's concerned where I'm looking back and be like, I can't believe I. I'm looking back fondly, like <laughs> right. I, I did the right thing. Did, that was yeah. that was cool, especially the, the reactions. Like, oh, boom, boom. Okay, yeah. Like, I'm not <laughs> looking back like, oh, I'm embarrassed. I can't believe I licked these girls, but like, what? Y'all be bragging to my friends like, girl, guess what I did? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but y'all, y'all need to relax. Cause y'all really y'all it be an image problem too. Like I how I how y'all look doing certain things. Like I it look like I look like this. I look like that. I don't want to look like this. I don't want to look like that. I don't care how I look. When it comes to sex, you shouldn't even be thinking about stuff like that. How do y'all even find like? We gotta have this conversation with more people. How do y'all even be? Cause I know a lot of times women be saying that they be thinking about a lot of stuff, and I can only say that the only time I'm doing that. Is if it's bad, but at the same time, even if I ain't really enjoying it, I ain't thinking about the laundry and all this stuff that I gotta do afterwards. I'm thinking about what I'm doing. Like if it's bad, I'm gonna be thinking this junk trash. No, I could be doing this. I could be doing it. I could be, you know. But <laughs> to move on to the next segment, which oh. Which is the what would you do segment? We don't have any questions. Um, but don't forget that y'all can email us at socialpsychopod at gmail.com if you want av- advice or if you have questions, and we will try to answer them as best we could. But moving on to the last segment, which is the black life segment. What is a form of foreplay you are afraid to ask for when having sex with your partner? nothing <laughs> same oh, before uh, before i was but now like like i say i figured out life is short and what what good is it going to do me to be afraid to ask for that i want whether you right. judge me or whether you judge me or not right. i keep bringing it up like i will hey, i like this i want this that oh, you really me. you really you really do yes absolutely they remind me of the brothers where D.L. Hughley was asking his wife to give him head and she wouldn't do it. She said it was she said giving head was a sin. I was like, they they are they was about to get a they was about to get a divorce. They did get a divorce for that. There's some 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 people in church that really do think that way. I think 
I think I can't remember. That giving was. head is a sin, but not sex. It, there, was not like, intercourse? There, was, there was one preacher that was like, if God wanted me to suck a dick, he wouldn't have gave me tea. <laughs> Are you serious? Like somebody said that? I swear to God. I mean, I kind of see what he's talking about because, like, it could have been like a detach, like attachment that you could put take off and then put back in whenever you needed them. But at the same time, why them tea in your way? Even, even if <laughs> they treat me in the way, bro. If, even if you know you're a holy Christian and all of that, the Bible clearly says the marriage bed is undefiled, which means you could do whatever you want. <laughs> God didn't give us love, but He gave us permission to be freaky. Exactly. That was you Moses. That was Moses, by the way, not God. <laughs> he didn't want us to have anything. Right. There was uh Moses was up there debating with God. Moses was <laughs> like, Man, you know they freaky. Like you them your kids. Come on, please give them a little let bit. Them of... get, let them get married. <laughs> let them do whatever it is they want to do in the bedroom. <laughs> If you don't, if you don't believe that the, the Bible has some freaks in it, just read Song of Songs or Songs of Solomon, whichever translation. That whole book ain't no. I have never heard a preacher give a message out of there, but I would love to hear a preacher give a message out of there for, a marriage, <laughs> for couples for real. Your breasts are like fawns. <laughs> your bosom, I'm just like that'll be the greatest message ever. It would go viral too. Poetry, just poetry about titties. Right. <laughs> Yeah, people do be stale. Like, I remember my cousin told somebody that, and and like they called me, and like was like, yeah, she said sucking dick was a sin, and I'm like, tell him sucking dick, girl. Sex, it's a sex before marriage. Period is a sin. That's the sin, but even in that case, I don't believe that. But I mean, the God didn't say suck dick was a sin though. Never. Y'all just don't want to suck dick. <laughs> exactly. That's what it is. Y'all try to get out of that drug the so thing is, bad. Be, 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 brain, be brainwashed when it comes to this stuff that this is not what you're supposed to do or whatever. Get out of that head. Figure out what you really like. If you really, because right. a lot of stuff, like I said with guys, oh, well, that makes me gay. Well, I'm gay. <laughs> right. Be gay for a little while then because I want to try it. Exactly. <laughs> People just it, it the stuff that people be allowing to stop them is is wild. But I'm not afraid to ask my partner for anything. Um, I'm gonna ask you. I'm I'm gonna say this is what I like. You know, I like this. I like that. Whatever. And you know those those boundaries they widen as I learn more things, as I come across more things that may be interesting to me or whatever. Like I'm very open minded. So and if you I will, first of all, I'm gonna know if we got sexual chemistry from the beginning. <laughs> After I've talked to you a few times, I'm gonna know. If I ain't if I ain't rushing to have sex with you, we don't. <laughs> we don't. I think and it, really it, it ain't happening. Be willing to to tell your partner what you like. But then also be willing to accept that maybe they're not willing to do something like that. Yeah, because you can't force them to do it. And why would you want somebody to do something with you that they don't want to do? Right. I want yeah. a willing participant for everything I do because that's what makes it fun. If you if I feel like you're not with it, I will stop. And also, when they're not willing to do a whole lot of stuff, be willing to walk away and find somebody who is. Because y'all be a your, because y'all be cheating. Y'all y'all cheat. Y'all be so unfulfilled sitting there. Oh, you just want to be with this person because you know you're supposed to know. Apparently, y'all right. are not compatible. Like that sexual compatibility is a big it part of a relationship. It's important. Like we could have love, we could we could like each other, we could do all of this, but that is a component for a relationship. And I tell everybody that well, sex is not that important. The hell it is. <laughs> That's not important. This comes from somebody who don't have sex like that. It's important. If I'm in a relationship, unless you asexual, you're right, right. Unless you're you don't like sex at all, that's different. But like for people who aren't, it's important. It really is. Because you can't tell me that even if you love somebody wholeheartedly, after a bad sexual experience, that's gonna take your mood down. 
you're going to feel a type of way about that. And years and years of that, your mind is inevitably going to wonder a little bit. Like, what right. is, mm-hmm. you're going to, you gonna, you, even if it's not cheap, you're going to try to find some stimulation in something else. Yep. Which is, you shouldn't have to do that. Instead of talking to them. Because I want this type of sex that make me want to eat some cookies afterwards. Want some cookies. I'm craving cookies. Like, you want some? I'm about to give you some cookies. <laughs> but if there's nothing else you have to add to the conversation, uh, we're going to end it right here. Thank you for coming and talking to me about this. I was trying to get this conversation going for a while. And we're going to have to have this uh, conversation really with other part two. We got to have a Please, fight y'all, with other people. Here and talk about it because I want to hear what y'all got to say. Those of yeah. you who don't give head, I'm going to give you a hard time, but you can come and talk about it. I ain't going to give you a hard time. Not that much of a hard time. But like I those wanna, of you I'm, who, if you got I'm that mindset you. that you don't want to be degraded, come on over here. We're going to help you figure out why you don't like this stuff. I'm going to question you about it. And if it, if it comes me down too. to something as simple as Oh, somebody told you something that it's not really from you, because those or, are not a thought. Or I, I want to be degraded. Get out of here. The person, like we said, the person that is the giver <laughs> is in control. Right. You degraded. control everything at that point. I think that's low key why pleasers are pleasers. <laughs> Because we have the power. We like being in control. We like to be dumb. We have the power. That's, That's really why what when it people is. be like, are you dumb or sub? Definitely dumb. <laughs> Definitely. Dumb. I'm not laying nowhere waiting for nothing. I'm not waiting for no directions. I ain't. I definitely dumb. <laughs> That's but funny. thank you for coming and having this conversation with me. Um, We definitely going to do a part two. And thank the rest of you for watching. Don't forget to email us at socialpsychopod at gmail.com if you want advice or if you have questions, and we'll try to answer them to the best of our abilities. But thanks for watching. Comment below how you feel about this conversation, how you feel about foreplay, what you think. Do you think it's important? Do you agree with us or don't you? And if you want to come on and have this conversation with us on part two, let us know. But thank you for watching, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.